You're making a big deal out of nothing. Exactly. Thank you for recognizing that. You're making a big deal out of nothing. You proving a point? Step on out. The okay, problem is, is that you ridiculous. and a lot of people like you think that you know this more than we do. We do this for a living, man. Yeah, I know you, like you do. Yeah, you violate people's rights Probably. for a living. I get it. I'm telling you in a second, he's going to drag you and put you back in that car. Just listen to him. Welcome back to the Lackluster channel. On September 19th of 2022, Josh from the channel Josh Wright Studios was returning to work after taking a lunch break with some co-workers. Josh was a passenger in the back seat, but unfortunately, the vehicle's front license plate had recently fallen off. The driver had placed the license plate under the front windshield, but it was still enough to have four officers of the Brunswick Police Department pull them over as they drove through the parking lot of a movie theater. How's it going? How are you doing, officer? Good. License, registration, proof of insurance. <laughs> <laughs> are you guys coming today, or heading today? Going back to work, took an early lunch. Where's work? Um, right down. down. Nice registration. Uh, Where'd you say it was? Down the road. Right down that way. The I wish we knew the address, but it's um, 125.0. Is it the uh, like the construction yeah, projects? Yeah. Gotcha. You guys have your IDs too? Yeah, why is that? Curious. Yeah. You want it? Yeah, if you yeah, yeah, don't yes, mind. I can. That's what I all of the other passengers voluntarily handed over their identification to the officer, though there was no legal requirement for them to do so. However, Josh chose to exercise his Fourth Amendment right and refused to identify. You have one too? No. Okay. The officer now moves back, seemingly to scan Josh over, to look for a reason to cite him and demand identification. It appears as though this is the moment that the officer realizes Josh is not wearing a seatbelt, though the officer will later claim that he saw the alleged violation while the vehicle was in motion, prior to pulling them over. Oh, uh, you don't have a seatbelt on though. There we go. What's that? I'm not going anywhere right now. Oh my god, do you need three fucking dudes? We just went to the grocery store. I don't understand what this is about. We gotta get back to work and get some money, bro. Well, you're not wearing your seatbelt, so you have to identify I'm yourself not now. Anywhere, guys. It was. But when it dies, I'll put it in the house. Do you have your ID on you? I don't need my ID. I just you expect me to be in a crowd? Yeah, you're not wearing your seatbelt. Alright, now move it. You weren't, you weren't wearing it when you passed me. Was that the reason to stop? Nah, you don't have a front license plate either. Oh. That was the original. It's right here. It's right there. I gotta get some screws to put on it. I was heading back to the job site. Gotcha. Well, as soon as your friend in the back seat gives me his ID, you guys can probably get well, back to the job site. Be here a long time. Call your sergeant up here. Okay. So if you're not gonna give me your ID, that's a problem. What kind of a problem is it, Officer Day? You legally need to give me your ID when a law enforcement officer asks for it. No, I don't. I you don't do? Guy. Okay. I didn't commit any crime. Well, you're not wearing your seatbelt, like I said, so you're going to give me your ID. I love how he's making no effort to give you his ID. Okay. Have you warned him that it's a crime yet? I did. I just warned him. There is nothing in the main revised statutes that differentiates the enforcement of the seatbelt laws on public or private property, and the debate of whether a law enforcement officer can issue you a ticket for not wearing a seatbelt on private property is as old as a debate as the mandate itself. Some sources claim that there is nothing that a police officer can do about occupants in a motor vehicle being unbuckled in a seat safety system on private property. However, some say that highway regulations apply if the land is publicly accessible and you used often by the public for transportation purposes. With that being said, I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments down below. Whether it's lawful or unlawful, should the officers be able to identify a person for not wearing a seatbelt on private property? At the end of the last clip, the training officer asked whether or not he has informed Josh that it is a crime to not identify. Have you warned him that it's a crime yet? I did. I just warned him. 
The reason he asked is because in Maine, an officer must have probable cause to believe he has committed or is committing a crime to demand identification. This is a higher burden than reasonable articulable suspicion, but a person can only be charged after having been informed by the officer of the provisions of this subsection. Last chance. Last chance for what? Mate? Give me your ID. It's a crime if you don't give it to me. You're making a big deal out of nothing. Exactly. Thank you for recognizing that. You're making a big deal out of nothing. If you gave me your ID, like you, you probably would have just get no, gotten a warning, so. Warning for what, guy? Not wearing your seatbelt. I've already explained it. Not even moving. Okay. Done. He's refusing to identify himself. You got an ID for me? No. All right. Step on out. Want to make a big deal or nothing, huh? You proving a point? Step on out. Thank I didn't you. do anything wrong. It's 15 to 4. Huh? No, I didn't do anything wrong. Okay, you're not wearing a seatbelt. We're asking for your ID. Because the vehicle stopped. Doesn't matter. It was moving. When it's moving, I'll have to. All right, let's go. Don't make, you don't need to make this bigger than I have four. Than it has to be. As well. You guys aren't used to hearing no. That's All right. No, that's it. Last chance. Step out. Or you're going to you be out. arrest me yep. for riding in the back of a car? Refusing to identify yourself. Yep. You guys got picked on Yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah. Come on. Step on out. <clears throat> And then what? Face car. Put your hand on your back. This is stupid, man. It is stupid. Yeah, I know. All yeah, I'm not a criminal. Okay, I've got a warrant or something? No, I, no, I've never had a warrant. So never. Like why are you guys acting like this? We're going seatbelt. from whole fucking Hannaford. Hannaford back demand, to the. You can demand your ID when you're not wearing a seatbelt. I know, you right? You guys. He already explained that to me. I just don't see the big deal, man. I don't see the big deal. Nothing going on. Like, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I just into. literally don't understand it. What? Because I said I didn't. I didn't need to submit to your demands because I didn't commit any crimes. That's the thing, though, is you do need to give your ID when we ask you. I'm not wearing a seatbelt. The Jason. problem is, is that you Ridiculous. and a lot of people like you think that you know this more than we do. We do this for a living, man. Yeah, I know like you do. Yeah, you violate way. people's rights Probably for a living. I get it. Yeah, I know. Probably with a warning. And that's why I said, you know what? I know my rights, and I didn't do anything oh, wrong. Spread your feet. You're handcuffed. You know your rights, right? I didn't do anything wrong. Spread your feet. W R I T. Spread your feet. Right, they're spread, bro. Spread them more. I'm gonna search you. Okay. Spread your feet. I didn't tell you to put them back together. I didn't move them. But what are you trying to do? Make me do the splits? Are you the supervisor? I am. We're just going from Hannaford back to our job site, and this guy's over here demanding me to get out of the car and show ID. I said, I didn't do anything wrong. I don't need to show ID to anyone who comes and demands. I wasn't driving the vehicle. I don't need a driver's license. I don't need to show my ID. And then he, he, they thought that that was the problem, and now I'm out of the car. What are you doing? You want to talk going to me? Going back to my car. For what? Why are you doing it? Why are you putting me in your car, dude? At this supervisor. point, you're being detained. I, I asked for somebody yep. to come up here. And I'm telling him in a second, he's going to drag you and put you back in that car. Just listen to him. What the in the end, the driver was given a warning for missing his plate, and Josh was transported back to headquarters, cuffed to the wall, interrogated, had his tattoos photographed, and then released on bail. He was given a citation for not wearing a seatbelt and a Class E misdemeanor, under issuance of summons for criminal offense, which is similar to refusing to provide ID. It's unclear exactly where this case will go, but Josh has secured an attorney and has entered a plea of not guilty and has contested the seatbelt citation. So again, I'm interested in what you guys think. Should the state have this much power to demand your papers for something as silly as an alleged seatbelt violation, especially when it's on private property? Let me know in the comments down below and be sure to check out Josh Wright Studios channel. I've removed portions of the video for time, but anything I've cut out can be found in his video. Thanks for watching. 
If you have a video, use the submit link in the description or pinned comment. If you enjoyed this one, subscribe and hit the bell for future content, and check out our other channels, Lady Lackluster and The Odd Side. Remember to like, share, and leave a comment about what you think of this interaction. It's the easiest way for you to help expose corruption and misconduct. Merchandise is available using the links below. Join the Lackluster family for just a buck if you'd like to further support the channel. Get a Lack logo next to your name, custom emotes, and early access to videos. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. All links are down below.